Okay, so the question is, why should you not trust every clinic talking to you about stem cells? Number one, um, we get all the time patients in the clinic who say, well, I had a stem cell injection and didn't help. And I'm like, what are they calling a stem cell? So the only thing that legally in the U.S. that we're allowed to describe as a stem cell um, is bone marrow aspirate concentrate or a bone marrow mesenchymal cells that's concentrated as a usable substrate. You don't just use raw bone marrow. Um, then the question becomes, if they're not talking to you about bone marrow aspirate concentrate, what are they calling a stem cell? And there's a lot of different... Do I think there are other stem cells available? Yes. Is the only thing legal to talk about in the U.S. in a public forum or to advertise or to put on a, uh, on a newspaper ad and call a stem cell, is it an autologous cell from you, from your bone marrow? Yes. So then the question is, who do you want drawn your bone marrow, right? Like, I, I think I would be really careful on who it is I let draw bone marrow from me. And then I would want to know what's the process after you draw it from me? What's the concentration process? What type, how long is it going to take? Where, what's your way you're going to decide on where you put it back in me? Are you going to use imaging? Are you going to use fluoroscopy? Are you have a C arm in the room? Um, do I need to be asleep? Are you using ultrasound? How do we make sure that if you're going to draw bone marrow from me, that you get the best possible result from the use of those cells. If that person drawing your bone marrow, and really, let's talk about that. Who do you want doing that? I think most often, um, I would want someone that understands bone anatomy um, and probably the, the hands of a surgeon doing that. As a trauma surgeon, if there was pelvis and acetabular trauma involved, who do they normally call for that injury? They call someone that's an orthopedic surgeon, fellowship trained in trauma to do that. At this point in my career, is aspirating bone marrow the most complicated part of my day? No. Uh, I've done over 20,000 bone marrow harvests. With that being the case, deciding where to put it based on the patient's indications and usages of the graft, that's a significant conversation to have with a patient. But when it comes down to who you're trusting to treat your injury, you probably need to make sure that that clinic or that doctor knows what it is that's hurting, that they're right about your diagnosis, that they've taken a history, they've done the examination to make sure that what they're going to call a stem cell is a stem cell first, which means bone marrow aspirate concentrate, and that they're going to actually treat what you have. So when it comes down to, do I think you should trust everyone that says they're putting a stem cell somewhere? No. I think you need to be very careful in making sure that it's someone that is trained and went to most often medical school before I would let someone harvest marrow from me, I would probably be way more comfortable if that was a surgeon that had done it a lot. I don't think I'd ever want to be someone's first bone marrow draw. Now, having designed the harvest catheter that we use more than a decade ago, I it's a three to five minute procedure. I don't think that bone marrow harvest itself is anything to be afraid of. It's a three to five minute procedure uh, in the U.S., anything that we take from a patient as cell or graft has to be given back to them within that same day. The process of taking raw bone marrow and turning it into bone marrow aspirate concentrate, what most patients and most doctors, unfortunately, will call a stem cell injection, uh, takes about 20, 25 minutes. There needs to be a significant volume, normally more, 60 cc's of marrow aspirate, that is turned into a stem cell concentrate and injected into the appropriate location to help you obtain the best result. And I would probably want all those things covered by any clinic or practitioner telling me they were going to inject a stem cell in me. And I would want to know, number one, what are we calling a stem cell? Where did it come from? How was it sourced? 
and how are you getting it to where it's supposed to go? And I think that's, it's a way more complicated question than is everything out there that they're calling a stem cell, stem cell, totally different question. Who would I want doing it? Well, someone that's done it a lot, that has a lot of experience doing it, not someone that started doing it in the last month or has hired a nurse practitioner to come in and do it for them. Certainly, I would be really careful about the training, um, history, qualifications of who's doing that and what is it they're calling a stem cell. Again, that's the down and dirty from the Zero Downside podcast and as easy as I can get that question. This is Dr. Wade McKenna, sponsored by MoabTexas.com. Please hit the like and subscribe button so we can continue to bring content to you. Thank you so much.